This is my tutorial for a draft print tumbler with sunflowers. I've already sanded my tumbler and spray painted it, but my garage was still too cold, so it dripped and looked horrible. So I'll be adding a coat of CC DIY Prime Time with Snow White Dispersion Color mixed in to make sure it looks nice and white. For some added color, I decided to also paint my tumbler with pearl gold from Arteza Paints. You don't have to, but I really think it adds some extra depth of color to the tumbler. While our tumbler dries, let's mix our micas. Y'all know how much I love mixing my glitters, but you can also mix your mica colors as well. I wanted a middle color between Woody's Goodies Yosemite's Gold and Buttercup, so I mixed equal parts of each and I got the exact color I wanted. Just to make sure the epoxy isn't repelled by the metallic paint, I'm adding Quick Coat Sealer from CC DIY just to be on the safe side. For the giraffe print, I couldn't decide which brown I wanted to use for my pattern, so I did a lighter brown on one and darker brown on the other. I sized the pattern at 7.75 inches high and applied it to the tumbler. For a seamless look, I hand cut some of the spots to blend them right into the pattern. When I was done, I sealed my pattern with epoxy and then I was ready for my sunflowers. For the sunflowers, we'll be doing the print cut feature on my Cricut. I sized them between three to one inches, but I ended up not using the one inch size. I used Cricut printable vinyl because it has been the only printable vinyl that works well with my inkjet and the colors stay bright and vibrant.
When it's time to print, I always print from my system dialog box for my printer instead of the Cricut interface. I print using the photo paper option for the best quality. After it's done printing, I place it on my Cricut mat and cut using the printable vinyl cut setting. I love the Cricut brand vinyl, but the print cut feature on my Cricut, I seriously have a love-hate relationship with it. Some days I get a perfect cut, other days it hates me and it cuts a little off. Today apparently was a hate day, and if you have hate days like me, I just grab my X-Acto knife and cut any white overage from the design. After placing my sunflowers, I like to seal the vinyl with triple thick spray. I find that it helps with the bubbles that can occur from the printable vinyl. There have been times that I have forgotten to do this step and I had bubbles galore coming from the vinyl. And of course, y'all know I had to add some extra sparkle, so I added pure mica powder to my epoxy as well as some extra glitter to give my tumblers some sparkle. I went a little crazy with the mica powders on my dark pattern tumbler, so I went a little lighter for the other. Because I used fast set on this layer, I immediately pull my tape after I'm finished popping the bubbles. I let them cure, then I was ready to add my vinyl.
Once finished, I sealed my tumblers with epoxy and then I was all done. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all my Patreon and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your giraffe pattern tumblers with sunflowers and I'll see you again next time. Bye.